I feel like we should title this video Moving Day 867. Monday, Monday. That's what we should title it. We are getting this laundry room together because there's eight people in this house. We didn't do a linen closet because we intended to use the laundry room, but what don't we have? Cabinets. So today we're going to be putting out cabinets in the laundry room and just doing a little bit of organization on this half. And then next time we'll do that half. A little bit at a time. These cabinets should match the lowers. We got them for free. Ivy went and picked them up for us. There was a cabinet company that went out of business up here. And she went and picked up a bunch. I've already got my shower curtain here and I've actually already cut it, but the reason why I chose a shower curtain is because it's already hemmed on the bottom. So all I had to do is figure out my length, leave a little extra, and then I'm gonna sew a casing in here so that way I can put a tension rod and then I'll have my curtain done. All right, so the proper way would be to use pins, but I'm gonna hurry. So I'm just folding it over to this next buffalo check line using that as my guide to stay somewhat straight. And once I go over this once, then I'm going to go over it a second time to add a little bit more durability, and then we should be good. Okay, so I'm just checking to make sure that my measurements were correct. Now's the perfect time, right? After it's already done? Yeah, that's, that's the right time. So... Yeah, this is about right, and then it'll gather a little bit. So let's get that rod up there, and then we'll just throw it up, and this will be covered. Sweet. So I just went to our local hardware store and got the curtain rod shower. What is Closet rod. That's the word. <laughs> <laughs> we got the closet rod holder, and luckily they come in a fairly matte black, so we don't have to paint them. Zeb's just going to affix it the same way you would if you were putting up a closet rod, and then we will cut the closet rod to length. That's Jamie right. Cam here. We're going in under the sink. Got a wobbly hand. Look, you can see his head through his hat. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I up. only wear trucker hats in the winter because these don't offer a lot of sun protection. But look at all that ventilation. Yep, there is that. It's time to hang these cabinets up. And normally, if I had like a big long bank of cabinets, what I do is I just go into these studs right here where I could but these are only 12 inches wide, so I'm gonna put a base on them right here. And typically on your countertops, you're gonna go about 18 inches between the top of the countertop to the bottom. I like to go about 18 and a half because I found that Jimmy likes to put big stuff up underneath there. Our KitchenAid mixer downstairs wouldn't hardly fit under that space. So, you know, in case she ever wants to put the mixer in the laundry room, just say it. <laughs> so I found center on my wall, I found center on my board, I've got my mark here, I'm going to put one screw right here, and then that got into the stud and not just into the MDF here. I treat this kind of like drywall, it's okay, it'll hold stuff up, but I really do prefer to put it into a stud when it's going to have weight on it. Next, I need to figure out how tall my cabinets are because I want to drill in right here and on the bottom side too into that board. So these are exactly 36 inches. Yep. I'm so proud of you that you measured. I know, I measured some stuff. I don't even know who you are anymore. Okay, so your job is to hold the spirit bubble and tell me when I'm level. Do you I'm want me to do a cheer with the spirit bubble? You can if you want. It's like a spirit stick for cheerleading. Yes. Well, that's a little, I would have done up higher. 18 inches off the top of the counter. Okay, it just kind of shadows yeah. the 
I'll put another light in here underneath for you. All right, so let me know when I'm level and on the bottom. Here, come over here. There you go. Oh, you're, the bubble's on the top. Or the, you want me to look at this top bubble? Yeah, it just needs to oh, be. Oh, that was in the middle. That's fine. Good thing I pre-drilled these screws in here. Is it still good? Yeah. I was looking at the right bubble. See, okay. right there it's in the middle. All right. All right, are you good? I see what you're saying, but I think that's fine with the sink right here because you're still not going to be any higher. This is really tight. So oh, I might need you. Tight. Well, it's not going to slide around. Here, I'll hold the top Yeah, that's what here. I need you to do. And you can feed it down on. There. Hey, it's working. And I double stitched it. If you single stitched it and you had that much pull on it, it might rip, but it should be good. Okay. All right. So, gonna... so put that end in first. Yeah. In the solid and then you have to go from the back side. Oh, from the back side? All right. So now I just need to fix the bleeding. Looks like you got a rogue string. On yeah, I right got a few rogue strings. Hey, I like that though. That's gonna hide the laundry baskets real good. Yeah, I, I just need to do the same thing under the kitchen sink. Yeah. I need to trim that. I don't want to pull that. I'll address this later. Here we go. They were in high school when they met, and things got kind of awkward. With sparks in the air. He would stare at her in class. Okay, I don't know if this is gonna fit. Maybe it once will it's because laid you just down. gotta put it under you. This rug's from the other laundry room. Alright. Oh it does fit if you put it down there. Let's see if it's not too long. Oh Maybe it's perfect. It's long enough, like just I love perfect. it. Yeah, I think the colors are a little bright for what we're doing in here, but for now it will work. I might do a different rug later, but for now I think this one looks alright. Um, it fits the space. So definitely we when we get a new rug, it's gotta be square. Cause is this, you, do we want this in no, here? No, that's gonna have to go over there because I have my cart, my laundry cart oh, that I push yeah. in there. Oh yeah, where is the laundry cart? It's over here. Let's see what it looks like. In we here do have cabinets. one more. The best thing about this laundry room is this laundry cart. It is my favorite thing because I put all the laundry in there. And then my favorite thing is that while I'm doing my laundry, I have all my hangers here. I can hang things up while I'm doing it. And I bought this because I thought that I could sell them, but they no longer make them, and I have one. So I'll take a picture and throw it up on the website. They're kind of spendy, but it really makes laundry a breeze. It's like old fashioned laundry cart from the laundromat. So I've got a few things that I've got to bottle up. I keep the things that we use most often over here and then the extra stuff on the other side. We also have a little vacuum that we use all the time that we'll keep plugged in over there. And uh, yeah, then we'll start putting things away. And you're probably saying, why take it from a box and put it to a container? It's not just because this is prettier. It's also because I, like, every time they try to get out of the box, it, like, flops over the side. Then you got stuff on the bottom of the box. gets all over the place. So it's a lot easier for my kids if I just put it directly in here. And if I leave it out, I can see when we're running low and know when I need to reorder. And no, we don't sell these containers. <laughs> They're from Costco, like a million years ago. That one has a crack in it. This one is over here. The dryer sheets, there should be one more. Do we not know where it's at? Um, I think one of, um, some of those didn't make it. So we don't use these in every load. Some people don't like them in my family, but I do. And if you want a nice clear jar, we have these French canning jars with hermetic lids at jrvhome.com. This is the one and a half liters, but they go up to three liters, which is quite a bit, not quite as big as this, but pretty big. And they just look pretty. And my back stock. So when I say I use French soap for everything I do, including laundry, and I actually really love these scrubbers that we sell for getting stains out. And then I'm just gonna keep some lavender over here. It'll keep it smelling fresh, and that's it. I like a clean workspace, and the kids always throw crap on there, so gotta keep it open. Extra toilet paper storage. Cause everybody needs that. Yeah, I mean, this is stuff that it would go in a linen closet. 
It's always good if the kids know where it's supposed to go. All right, this is gonna be the trick. How are we gonna fold the towels to fit up in there since these cupboards are so small? They were free, we had to use them. Now we gotta get stuff in there. Well, you won't have to worry about them being so big that things get lost in the back. Yeah, I mean, most linen closets we've had, you know, you use like the front third of everything and then the other stuff just gets lost behind. Let's see, I don't know. Well, oh, no. All right, that's all right. <laughs> Just like towel origami. You could okay. work on one of those cruise ships. Fold it into thirds, then roll it. It needs to hold the extra ones that we're not using. We usually have about enough for everybody to have one towel and then enough for everybody to have a clean one while the one other ones are washing. Yeah, so I keep 16 towels. Eight for the people that live here and then eight extras. And so when company comes, we just do laundry a little more often. So we should be able to fit between here and then in this one we'll have enough and then I also like to use this for storage for extra linens like just sh random sheets and pillowcases like seasonal pillowcases. So on this side of the cabinets we have two more. We're thinking about doing shelving along the sides here instead of cabinets because we might do two cabinets on this side with long shelves above the washer and dryer. I'm thinking we just put all the cabinets over here and then just big long shelves for cute decorating stuff over there. Or big packs of toilet paper. We could also put the towels open over there. They might fit better. And then do like smaller towels oh, and sheets I over here. I don't really fold that neatly. So we still have a little bit more to go. We obviously have the other side of the laundry room to finish and do cabinets and cover up all the hoses and things. But it's a lot better than it was. I'm just glad to finally have a place to put things instead of just piling on top of the countertop. It's a lot more functional. We're gonna drop the link below for the one laundry cart that we have. <laughs> it's like the Hunger Games of laundry carts, sorry guys. And then also for the French canning jars, if you wanna reorganize your kitchen, pantry, or laundry room, they work great for that. Be sure to visit jrvhome.com for home decor, jamierayvintage.com for your paint and DIY. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY. He looked at her and then he smiled up a pen and paper and started writing probably something about her eyes and how they're always shining or something cliche like ooh baby I only want you it's true and then he said I wrote you a love song and I tried to